someone in the comments asked me about the, uh, uh, I, I did a video about panel discussion and Serban was there and Jimmy Douglas. And one of the things that I had brought up was intellectual property of mixing. Uh, I think I explained it there, but maybe I, this person wanted a little more detail. And I brought up this subject of when you mix a song, I think you get a flat fee. Uh, I mean, my understanding was, uh, you know, they, they the record companies could put out a, a song, have five mixers, mix them, pay a flat fee, each one of them, and whoever they decided they were going to go with, maybe, maybe they could give them some points or things like that. But intellectual property, my thinking, and, and I'm not a, this end of the business, I don't know. I know Serban and he knows about it, but I don't. Um, intellectual property, when you do a mix in Pro Tools or any DAW and you hand that mix over, uh, the, the file, it has your plugins in there. It has your movement of your plugins, has your automation. And that's what I was talking about, the intellectual property. Because before that, you would give a two-track master, whether it was on tape or sent as a digital file, and that was it. But if you give a file that's a DAW uh, file, then all that intellectual property, which is stuff that you've come up with to create that mix, I think the record companies should pay extra for that. Because what they can do is they can extract that information and use it for something else. And down the line, you should get paid for that. Um, now, you know, the industry being what it is, I, th there's really no record companies anymore. If there are, there's a few. Um, now, as far as leverage to get them to pay you for that, that's, that's a whole separate discussion. And, uh, but this is something that was going through my mind. When I was at that panel discussion, it was me and Jimmy Douglas and Trina Schumick. We were all in this green room and I, I brought up the, the, the subject of intellectual property and everybody was very interested in, in my thoughts about it. So that's, I, I hope that explains it for this, this person who wanted to know more about what I was thinking, but I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the legal end of, of things, but it seems like when you create something that someone can use for something else, you should get paid for it. So there you go.